Hmm, maybe I should do an ITX build. So let's see the prices for the motherboard first. Ooh, that's uh, not cheap. Okay, never mind. Maybe we can see what's the PSU prices. And um, damn, uh, that's not cheap either. The answer is yes, you can build a small form factor case using just your existing MATX motherboard and ATX PSU if you're using this case, which is the Kuzao I'm Sama, which can be bought from uh, Taobao and GD.com and it will cost you around $60 uh, including shipping if I'm not mistaken. So before we go in depth, we're gonna see the unboxing first. So we're going to go through the advantages of this case. So the first one I think is the build quality. Uh, for the price of around 300 ringgit, I think that the quality is actually very excellent. Um, the steel of the case is uh, very thick. I mean not that thick but it's actually 0.8mm thickness of SPCC steel. You know compared to lower end Segotep, Techware and typical cases that is around 0.5 to to 0.6 mm so there is a difference in terms of quality you can see the panel itself um, there's a difference between the thickness of you know the case and it's less wobbly and feels generally more solid here you guys can have a listen and i guess you guys can judge for yourself which one do you think is better Another build quality feature is the panel uses a clip-on mechanism which is very simple to use and when latched on, it actually secures tightly the all the panels of the case. The rear PCIe cover is also the type where you can screw back in and not the once snap off cannot put back on type. Uh, another thing is that the closure at the back uses magnetic to secure it in place so this is another good feature that avoids any screws. Another advantage that I really like about this case is actually it has very good airflow. So all the panels of this case actually has small cuts out to allow airflow and actually in a small form factor case if you're using a very power hungry CPU and GPU combination like myself, this is actually greatly appreciated and helps to maintain a good CPU and GPU temps. For example, this case has ventilation holes in the fan as you can see right here. This is something that even the NR200 doesn't offer. And the third big advantage of this case is actually the generous uh, support that it offers. As you can see, included in this case is the PSU bracket for full ATX and smaller form factor PSU to be attached in this case. So this allows the ATX PSU to be used natively without the need to print out any brackets or need to do any adjustments as it can, that is already the screws and all the necessary mounting points. This case also supports an MATX motherboard which you know, uh, if you're from a bigger case and moving to a smaller case, this allows you to save money and don't need to buy a new motherboard. There also advantage that myself that I prefer the MATX motherboard because for example I use an Intel Optane so I need two PCIe slots. Um, there's also the advantage of fan compatibility so you can mount the top fan uh, like the usual using just screws instead of clip-ons. Um, 
and also even with the ATX PSU you can still mount um, two fans at the top although one of the fan has to be a slim profile fan another advantage of this case is actually the GPU support as you can see this is a 3080 Trinity which is around a 320 millimeter cut length and as you can see it can fit this case no problem this case can actually fit up to a 30 330 millimeter in length graphic card and can easily fit a three slot um, card but if you use a three slot card you can only fit slim fan underneath another advantage of this case that i didn't even know and i only discovered during building was even with all the other big parts you can still fit a 3.5 inch, inch hard drive you can fit it at the rear exhaust fan mount and you just place it and, and screw it in Thus, as you can see, the hardware compatibility of this case is excellent. Also, I forgot to mention, like all other small form factor cases, uh, all of the panel can be removed to allow easy access and this makes the process of building um, and fitting all the parts so much easier. But like everything else, it's not all rainbow and sunshine as there are some of the cons of this case which we will get into. So, um, what are the cons of this case? I think we need to cut to the chase. The first thing that is the biggest con for me about this case is actually the availability. Number one, it's not always in stock. Number two, you have to order from Taobao or JD.com which is direct from China. So it's going to cost you a lot of shipping, long waiting time and then warranty is basically non-existent. So you have to consider all of these factors before purchasing. Uh, now this is a big advantage of the Cooler Master NR200 and I think this is why sometimes I keep recommending people to get that case instead because I think that the aftermarket support is there and the availability is there. Some people want their item right now and doesn't want to be bogged down by the long waiting time. So number two, another cons of this case is I would say the cable management. I think this is um, pretty normal for any small form factor case but if you are like me and you're, this is your first time going from a smaller form factor case uh, the cable management can be a bit tough uh, the back panel doesn't, it's not very deep so you don't have a lot of space to hide your cables uh, another thing is that there are very little places where you can actually hide the cable some of the places where you can hide is actually at the front panel or if your GPU is slightly shorter you can hide it in front of the GPU but that's about it especially if you want to um, hide your cables and do a proper cable management so the third cons I guess would be the size because uh, I guess this is actually a matter of perspective if you're someone like me and you're from an ATX or MATX chassis and you move into this case you will feel that the case is actually very small but if you're someone who is from let's say from the N case or maybe you're from the N case M1 or you're from the Geek uh, series of cases so I guess you would say that yes the case is actually quite big and maybe some people will argue that it's not really a proper SFF case but keep this in mind compared to some of other SS, SFF case quite a, quite a tongue twister so compared to other SSF case like um, the Fantex Evolve Shift and the H200i which is even if I'm not mistaken slightly bigger than the Quazo sorry the Kuzao I'm Sama case when you compare it to that case it's actually quite favorable because you must consider those case only support ITX motherboard but this case even though it's smaller it can support M ATX motherboards with normal ATX power supply so I guess I mean the size is pros and cons is up to you it depends on your perspective on what you consider to be a small case so verdict time should you get the case um, I would say actually yes you should get this case now uh, the reason is very simple because for me the price is not very high the price is actually very reasonable considering what you're getting as far as quality and features are concerned for the case um, and then uh, the, the the compatibility of hardware is also very high you can fit ITX, SFX, ATX, MATX motherboard you can use a 4 slot um, motherboard a, force, uh, a full size MATX motherboard with 4 DIMM slots 
and you know the compatibility is, is actually very high and then you can mount uh, another advantage that it has is you can actually mount uh, AIO on top instead of just the bottom and the side panel and you can fit a large graphic card along with a 240 or 280 AIO so I think that you have to consider that compatibility wise it is very great the build quality is very good the the price is also very reasonable the only thing for me the biggest caveat is actually the availability if you can find this case or if you live in a country where ordering from China it doesn't really cost a lot of shipping or tax headache yes I do feel that totally you should get this uh, case it's very worthwhile and also if you're like um, just new and trying to want to try into the small form factor case um, build uh, I guess this is a good newbie case along with the Cooler Master NR200 which is also another good case anyway guys really appreciate uh, that you're watching my video um, thanks for bearing with my English I know it's not perfect it's not really my first language but I'm trying my best um, otherwise do the usual YouTube stuff like and subscribe I know it sounds cliche but it really helps me a lot especially as a small content creator um, so um, see you guys next time bye